We have to learn over time how to interpret and interact with what we are taking in per our cultural constructs. And that's why we so often get things wrong as children. We assign meaning incorrectly because we can't understand the subtleties of the whole of what is going on. We haven't had the life experience yet. But we do feel the essential quality of everything, in some ways more keenly than our adult counterparts. My father shined his loving light on me, and I remember that clearly. I remember his essential nature. I remember him. My father was a truly phenomenal specimen of a human being in many ways. Intelligent, creative, learned, skilled, driven. He worked really hard to cultivate every aspect of himself. At one point he said, Some may not believe it, but I spent hours perfecting whatever I did. He worked not only at sculpting his body, but at shaping his mind, educating himself, evolving his practices, developing his potential. He also worked at the little things like having beautiful handwriting, writing and speaking grammatically well, developing a colloquial understanding of English through joke-telling, learning how to direct a film. The list goes on and on. And as a result, he created a legacy that continues to be relevant 47 years after his death. But if there's one thing I've learned through the practice and understanding of his philosophy, it's that you don't need to be Bruce Lee in order to make the most out of your life. Trust me, as his daughter, the self-imposed stress to be one-tenth the specimen of a human that he was and in the way that he was has been overwhelming, paralyzing, and terrifying. It has stopped me in my tracks several times in my life. But that's when I take a deep breath and remember. Bruce Lee doesn't want me to be Bruce Lee. Thank God. And what you'll discover in this book is that what Bruce Lee wants is for you to be the best version of you that you can be. And that will look entirely different from Bruce Lee because, well, you are you. And guess what? Bruce Lee himself was not good at a lot of things. He could barely change a light bulb or cook an egg. I'd like to see him try to put together some Ikea furniture. In my imagination, it ends up smashed to splinters with the Allen wrench sticking unceremoniously out of the drywall where it has been hurled in abject frustration. But that aside, his words should encourage you to consider a process of self-actualization whereby you take a look at who you may actually and essentially be, where you notice what your potential is pulling you toward and how to work to cultivate that. What will emerge will be just as unique, just as bright, just as uplifting, and just as energized as my father was, but in your own way and in your own process. And not only that, but you will end up with a centered sense of purpose that will bring you much more peace of mind and joy. That's why I got into this after all. It wasn't the cool t-shirts, although the t-shirts are cool. It was because, as you will come to learn, I have been deeply moved and healed by these practices and words myself. I wouldn't have dedicated such a huge portion of my life to promoting my father's legacy if I didn't earnestly feel it was worthy of my time and promotion. I want you to get to know this deeply philosophical and inspirational side of my father as I know and experience him. I want you to get any little tidbit or morsel you can that contributes something of value and goodness to your life. And I hope you connect with my family's stories that are within these pages and find something of yourself in them. So what qualifies me to be your guide? I should tell you up front that I'm not a researcher or an educator or a therapist or even a life coach. I have no expertise in anything other than Bruce Lee. And even that is a particular kind of expertise, not based on a vast knowledge of dates and times and events. My expertise is in having known and been loved by him, in having gratitude for the gift of him, in living his words as best I can, and in trying diligently to find my own self. And even without all the degrees and expertise, I've still written this book as part prescription, part allegory, part revelation. For those of you far along on your spiritual journey, this book may seem simplistic at times. It's meant to be. I'm hoping to provide access to these ideas to the biggest swath of people possible. But the further you get in the book, the deeper the messages will get. I hope you will stay with me to discover where the waterways flow. In this book, I'll do my best to impart to you what my father's be-water philosophy is.